Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Japanese Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making red palm oil with spinach, Liberian style, kind of like potato grains, potato leaves with red palm oil. I'm going to be doing it of the spinach version, the Liberian way, and simple, delicious, and easy. So that's what I'm doing today. I would like to say thanks to all my new subscribers that have come along for this ride. Thanks for your support and for your love. I appreciate you and thanks for those that are going to be coming along for this ride. So without further ado, let's do this video. Let's do this together, y'all. Thanks for coming on here. God bless you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. And let me know in the comment below what you think about this recipe when you try it out. God bless you. I appreciate you guys and thank you very much. So yeah, these are my ingredients I'm going to be using to make this turkey, beef, chicken, spinach, palm oil, some maggi cube, and my seasoning of choice. So let's do this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Chappie's Kitchen and Facebook at Chappie's Place. I'm just going to be using my usual spices, dry spices, black pepper, cayenne pepper, paprika, garlic powder, just your seasoning of choice, seasoning salt, chicken seasoning, just the usual seasoning. That's what I always use in my video. That's what I'm going to be using today. And I'm just going to mix it well and pot boil all of these ingredients. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I really would love hearing from you guys. I appreciate everybody for coming on here and supporting my video. Thank you and God bless. So here I'm going to just use my regular spices, the regular seasoning that I use for everything most time when I'm making um, Liberian style food. But um, I just want people to also know that this cooking African food that we see doesn't have to be so complicated. It can also be simple and easy. You know, that's how I cook the way I cook. Like, you don't have to necessarily use chicken, beef all at once in a part part in a pot to get the African taste so yeah that's why I just like to show another style of cooking have on Liberian food you can use just beef you can use only chicken you can use only turkey or just fish and it's still gonna be tasting good as long as you get your seasoning right and you can cope without none of that stuff if you are vegetarian you just use the right spices and just cook the spinach and palm oil and it's still gonna taste good it's still gonna have the flavor to it because i do cook like that sometimes i will not add chicken beef or none of that stuff to my food just 
do the vegetable by itself, you know, and still have my African taste to it. Because there come a time, you know, we might not be eating meat or chicken or beef, you know, with the food shortage and all that that's not going on in the world. We have to learn to cook differently. So I'm just saying that you do not necessarily need all of this stuff added to the food to get the taste of it. You can just use the vegetables and the spices and the food is still going to be nutritional and it's still going to taste delicious. I'm just going to cut up some sweet peppers to add to my um, spinach, sweet pepper. So this spinach we cook, I'm doing is going to be like how we will make sweet potato leaf. After allowing this to boil for 25 to 30 minutes, maybe 20, 30 minutes max, I realized that I needed that chicken to kind of boil some more. I, like I said, I love my food fully cooked. So everything is looking good. And I'm about to get to the spinach aspect of this meal. Keep watching. So I'm going to be using a liquid to cook my spinach. That's what I'm going to be using today. I like to add a, a, a less than a teaspoon of baking soda just to give it that green, rich green and a soft texture. Just a less than a teaspoon. You don't want to put too much in there. You don't even have to do that, but I like that. The maggi cube was kind of very hard, so I had to drop that in the pot and let the steam soften it up. And then I'm gonna rub it against the pot just to mash it up because I don't want no chunky maggi in my food after it's cooked. So you just wanna just mash it after you after it's softening. And that's what I'm gonna be doing next to the pot right there. As you can see, I'm just mashing it against the pot.
I'm going to be measuring the amount of oil that I'm putting in there with my cooking spoon. I'm probably going to pour maybe the five cooking spoon of oil into this food. Either five or six. I do not want this to be too oily. That's what I'm doing that. As I put it in, I'm measuring how much oil I want to be in there. But um, back home, authentically, that, they will have to put a lot more oil in, in that um, spinach thing. What I'm adding to it. Like I said, you can turn this into your own. This is cooking. It's also art. You can make it the way you want it to be. So I do not want a lot of pump. So I'm just measuring with my spoon, like how much oil do I actually want to be in this food. You know, for health reasons, you also have to be cautious about that. But yeah, but authentically, there will be a lot more oil in there soup than that. But anyway, <laughs> this is just me. Simple Liberian food. This is just some pot boy rice. I decided to add to it. You can have this with, with all couscous. You can have it with quinoa. You can also have it with swallow. So yeah, you can have just whatever you want. You can just eat it like that with nothing. Just the chicken and spinach by itself. But today I was making some pot boy rice because when the kids get one from school, my children, I wanted to have something to eat. And I tell you no lie, this food went quick. It did not last. When cooking this, you want to cook it on medium to low heat and you also want to remember to stir occasionally because you don't want it to burn at the bottom. So just stir, don't go like you're mixing something, you know, just go at the bottom of it and just stir occasionally so as not to, um, just to keep it from burning. I'm also going to be doing something not typical in Liberian cooking. I'm not going to be drying all the juice out of my, my food. This is about done. I'm going to let the juice stay in there to, get, to have more flavor in and more nutrition. I mean, we already boil the food so much when you're cooking it. And then if you have to remove all the juice and flavor, then it's just... It's just oil and like I said I did not cook a lot of oil so I'm gonna be leaving a lot of the liquid under there and it was different and delicious I'm telling you see all that juice right there I'm not gonna let it dry out I'm gonna let it just be that that's how I'm cooking it and it's done good delicious and ready to go
thanks for watching y'all please come back again and support my channel like subscribe and share and also comment down below try this out let me know what you think i really appreciate you guys and i thank you for coming on here and supporting my channel god bless you once again see we see you next time because i will be back <laughs> this is it yo this is it this this is so good bye